friends haven't done a nice good old sit down where i'm just like reconnecting with you guys and just updating about life life has been weird life has been weird lately <laughs> hope you are doing well it's been a crazy a uh, few months for us as you might already know we have relocated to miami we're gonna be here for a bit i feel like there's a lot of confusion about like why we're here are we staying are we going so we're we're here we're living the miami land it's been really interesting to find like a rhythm and a routine and get the kids into a rhythm and a routine but i feel like we've been doing it well i have been feeling a bit overwhelmed with the kids because all of a sudden you know jake and ben are nine and i mean he's turning nine soon and ben is turning seven soon and maxi just turned three like holy you start to understand the amount of energy and emotional intellectual like support you need to provide for them <laughs> like you always think i don't know me personally i always thought like oh my god the hardest part is when they're small you know because it's a lot of like physical labor but now it's a whole other thing it's truly tricky i have to say bye and don't come back Shh, okay <laughs> obviously they're a blessing but holy guacamole i feel like in today's world in today's society when we as grown-ups are still trying to find ourselves and to you know discover the world and then raise children in this kind of uncertain times is a whole lot a lot of a lot of stuff on the personal side i found today this one poem on Instagram that was actually sent by my best friend. It's literally the explanation of how I've been feeling. I shared before that I'm kind of in this like place of transition and rebirth um, before. I think when I came to Miami, I was kind of in that place as well. But guess what? Still here. But I find that this specific poem has been a great kind of um, description of how I feel. So I'm gonna read it to you. It's by um, Alexis Racon. Nobody ever talks about this part. You know, the part where you're no longer a caterpillar and not yet a butterfly. You don't know who you are and you don't know where you're going. All you know is that every fiber of you. Let's try this again. Nobody ever talks about this part. You know, the part where you're no longer a caterpillar and not yet a butterfly. You don't know who you are and you don't know where you're going. All you know is that every fiber of your being is calling for transformation, for disruption, for a revolution of the spirit. So surrender, break down. This is not the death of you. This is the dying of who you once were. This is your rebirth, darling. And these are called growing pains so that's where i'm at i'm at the growing pains stage i feel it like in my soul and my gut that i'm changing and i'm open to that change and i want to change and now it's just this like little hump i have to cross i know that there's a concept that i actually look into when i was I think 28 or 29 and I heard it somewhere it's called the Saturn return and it's uh, usually this concept of kind of an emotional state that women at their late 20s and it's like in their early 30s experience um, and this list this kind of like a rebirth uh, a redefinition redefining who you are what you are what you want and that's where I'm at. I feel like I'm truly just trying to find my voice and my stand. And I just feel like I'm ready to let go of things that I've been doing or am doing that are just no longer aligned with who I am. I wonder if anyone else feels this way. But I am also very excited because there's a few like really awesome things that are happening. I feel like that are also giving me the space to spend time alone and you know really immerse in my solitude in order to experience this like inner revolution so first of all i am hopefully um heading to paris soon uh it's gonna be a quicker trip but still paris 
and me and you know i'm taking my berets you know i'm so excited also we just came back from new york fashion week which was so amazing and i feel like i kind of regret that i didn't vlog to be honest with you because i really try to make sure that i'm present and that i am creating kind of a lot of short form content and that i'm not running myself to the ground but you know what I wish I vlogged it. It was truly like an amazing experience, especially after, you know, coming out of uh, this whole COVID infused like state of mind when all we think about, all we talk about is COVID. So it's been really nice to just see peers and being on the ground and being part of something. And it really, really revived me and actually like left me wanting more. So unfortunately i was supposed to go to uh, paris and milan fashion week but because of the situation with immigration in the u.s i couldn't um, i wouldn't be able to come back to the u.s because i'm not a citizen uh, if i would have gone to europe so europe was closed for that but anyways but hopefully with my trip to paris it's gonna be lifted and then your girl can be walking around with her beret in paris Another struggle that I've been kind of going through lately has been with Vary. I feel like a lot of e-commerce companies, I've been feeling it in general because of COVID. There's such a mess with the supply chain. So there were all these amazing drops, amazing things we were planning and it all came crashing down in front of my eyes. It's like sand in your hand just disappears. So we've been really been like rerouting, refiguring out, just trying to make this vision come to life and hopefully hopefully it's coming crossing my fingers though we do have new colors for activewear we have a holiday collection we have a pj collection i'm so excited just all the things that i love and like i want to bring out into the world something that would like make you feel beautiful and i'm just i'm surrendering to the universe i'm manifesting the success of all of these amazing things that we're trying to build so I need your energy right now. I need your positive, positive energy. And I feel like on just like on a professional level, like with my content and you know, on, um, on social media, I feel like I'm at this place where I need to reintroduce myself, redefine myself. I know I love fashion. I know that I have a special place on my social media about fashion because that's truly like one of my greatest, you know, joys. But I'm also want to start getting into somewhere else and uh, wanted to share with you and actually get your opinion about this i've been thinking about reintroducing the idea of podcasts so i don't know if you guys remember but we were actually planning to launch an, a podcast i actually filmed um, and recorded a few episodes uh and like i shot it down because i just felt like i was taking too much on myself and i just truly couldn't bring any value back then i felt so really drained i felt like the conversations didn't bring anything to the table and um, i just didn't feel like my best self so i was aware that i can't deliver so i actually had to like shut that down scale it back and completely kind of close this whole conversation about the podcast but the podcast initially that we were thinking about starting was about like entrepreneurship and you know women and stuff like that uh, but mainly kind of like entrepreneurship and women's place in that you know industry and i feel like it's not something that i'm aligned with anymore i'm obviously just like love entrepreneurs i love hearing about women in business but i need something to feed my soul and i feel like i personally have been going through this process process of this growing pains of just really coming back home to myself and uh, learning about myself and identifying certain things uh, truly trying to find a balance between my feminine and masculine uh, energy and just I don't know just like reviving my soul and try to get back to my most authentic self so i'm thinking that this is something that i would like to pursue in the form of a podcast so completely scratch what i had envisioned that i think maybe was more driven from what i thought people wanted to hear from me maybe something that my ego wanted where this is i think is more of a subject that is very much aligned and somewhere that i want to just like evolve into topics like sexuality sensuality topics like really understanding our cycle and how to optimize our lives based on understanding our cycle something that i've noticed more than ever now is that we no longer live in a man's world but we operate like we live in a man's world and i feel like i really want to 
open up the conversation of building a new way of living for women that can support who we are and what we are and support us in the world today. So yes, talking about periods, yes, talking about vagina health, yes, talking about sex and, you know, the the art of just like pleasure and, and accepting yourself. All of that is connected to the way we show up in the world. Like that's where I want to go, you know? There's so much for me to learn. I'm just like, my brain is so crying not crying like craving that type of information education stimulation so yeah that's kind of where i'm at i find that i started sharing a little bit more of just like my thoughts randomly here and there and it's just like such a difficult conversation to have on instagram or on other platforms because you can't really open up a conversation so this is kind of where i'm going in my mind this is something that i'm keep showing up for me and uh, I wonder what do you think like you know me do you think that's something that would be worth pursuing and this is it I feel like I just like bleh, all this like life updates on you guys I uh, truly hope that you feel a little bit more up to date I know that I've used to share so so much more but um, again I'm very much protecting myself I guess from the world and like all these things that are happening because I'm trying to harbor this energy to just like help myself get through these like growing pains it's a daily struggle for me to give myself permission to keep myself to myself especially when you're in an industry of just like sharing everything i've realized you know my boundaries these days and i know what i i can and cannot give so i really have to remind myself like it's okay social media and sharing is all beautiful because it really gave me this opportunity to build an amazing community uh, with you guys but also i need to go through something so i'll be educated enough experienced enough to share that something with you once you know i go through it so that's where i'm at hope you guys are doing well i love 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 you i'm very curious to hear your thoughts what do you see is next for me just wonder Bye.